Hello everybody and welcome to the Winter Wonderland. We're here in bb t Field in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for week number 10 of the 2018 college football season. Maryland, number 16, Wake Forest. You never thought it would happen, but guys, it's a surreal moment. Wake Forest, if they win, they have a one-game lead with two weeks to go in the ACC conference over Clemson. If they lose, then Clemson is tied with them. However, Wake Forest does have the tiebreaker. So, Wake Forest will either A, still be in first, or B, tied, but in first. Either way, it's a win-win, but we would like to see Wake Forest come out of here in the white-filled turf just everything white field with a W. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, Maryland, they're an up and down opponent for Wake Forest. You don't really know what you're going to get with them until they show up. And that was the case today. Let's pick it up. First quarter, four minutes left. 3 nothing Wake Forest. Maryland said that's fine. You can take seven minutes off the clock or six minutes. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. All we need are a couple plays, and we are set for the rest of the game. And that's exactly what they did, ladies and gentlemen. First one to Stephen Hodges, the senior. Yeah, he's still here. He's still on that team. He had a 40-yard pass, then Willie Kramer, and then Barrett Alston. Three plays under probably 30 seconds, and Maryland already out to a 7-3 lead. With one minute to go in the first quarter, Wake Forest goes three now in their second possession, so give the ball back to the Terrapins. Barrett Alston, 14 yard catch, that's his second of the day. Lester now to his man Tyler Wesley. He picks up 18, first catch of the day for Wesley, more on him later in the game. Lester looking deep. This one to JJ Johnson. The Triple J factor is triple good. Good, good, good. 14-3. Terrapins over Deacons. End of one. Let's go second quarter. Third possession for Wake Forest. Something they're really not accustomed to. They're more of, you know, having the ball more than two times in the first quarter. Right here, Wayne Haynes. Tenth rush already. He's already over 65 yards. Good day from him. Expect a lot more of him because of this snow game. 8.30 to go in the second quarter. Thomas looking. He has his fullback Brandon Turner on first down. That will pick up 8. That leads to second and 2. And then on second and 2, play clock running down 3 seconds. They get the ball off. This one to Wayne Haynes on the slip screen makes a man miss on the juke to the left. And he has a 14-yard catch and run on the slip screen. Third and inches give off to Wayne Haynes. He will bulldoze his way for an extra 7 yards on 3rd and inches. First down, Wake Forest driving. 4.50 to go. Play clock rounding near 5 seconds. It's an eye formation for Wake Forest. Second and 4 from about the 4 yard line. And Wayne Haynes can make a snow angel because he is in the end zone. Have fun celebrating, Haynes. You are currently the Heisman leader. And you got Wake Forest back in the game. 14-10. Unfortunately, it would go for not. Four minutes to go. Well, that's all Maryland needed to score. Right there, pick a big pickup by the quarterback. And then Jonathan Adams. We'll have more on him as the day goes on. That one, 30-yard rush. Only a second rush of the game. So that tells you got a 14-yarder and now a 30-yarder. Second and 14. This one to Jonathan Adams. It looks like Wake Forest had that read perfectly. But the defenders tripped over each other or maybe slipped in the snow. That sets up a short third down conversion. This one, though, is going to be deflected. And Rhett Lester said, we're not going for a field goal on fourth down. We're going to set our mark, and we're going to try and get a touchdown. If it comes back to bite us, oh well. Well, guess what? Rhett Lester must have been a sidekick because he threw that where the defense wasn't, and he knew exactly where they were going to be, it seemed like. Willie Kramer touchdown. Maryland, ball again, 130 to go before half. They are up 11, 21-10 over number 16, Wake Forest. No huddle offense. Barrett Alston, another catch, 11 yards. 
he's already at 50 and he doesn't even have five catches second and 11 Rhett Lester looking for Wesley again there's Tyler Wesley like we mentioned 20 yards and already they are at the Wake Forest 10 yard line under a minute to go before half and this one is a dart this to the backup running back well actually not even the backup running back Jonathan Adams the starting running back he looked like the backup but maybe that disguised full break force because they did not try and tackle him at all so at the half 28 to 10 Maryland Terrapins over your number 16 Wake Forest Demon Deacons for the Deacons if they do end up losing this they do have Boston College and Duke left however Clemson don't expect them to lose the final two or three games they have it's just not gonna happen Wake Forest needs this win to really solidify the ACC Atlantic and if they do lose then we should have a really fun rest of the year but they got to focus on week in and week out and then week in week out mentality starts right here in the second half they're down 18 to Maryland you see the stats 100 rush yards for Wake only 37 for Maryland but 234 pass yards for Maryland only 58 for Wake Forest three minutes of possession for Maryland they've staked an 18 point lead let's go third quarter now first play of the third quarter quarter sorry Maryland they did not win the toss Wake Forest did Wake Forest deferred and they elected to kick it off so with that said or sorry they elected to receive so with that Maryland gets the ball start of the third quarter start of the second half it's a new beginning right well for Maryland it's really the same old same old this one is to Tyler Wesley 23 yards he's over 60 yards over 250 for Rhett Lester Maryland 28 10 they're driving one more time third and six this one a dot to John Wilson could have been challenged coach Mathis said let's not worry about it well maybe he should have because this one is to John Wilson again. However, Wake Forest does come up with a stop. And unlike last time, Maryland only takes a field goal. So 31-10, it's a three-score game. Dustin Thomas, Wayne Haynes. It's a deadly combination, and they're going to make you pay for it. First play, second down. Well, I guess second play. Touchdown Demon Deacons. Something you haven't heard said since about the first quarter with oh three minutes left and then you never count the demon deacons out this one to kyle chandler that is a catch of the year nomination shades of odell beckham jr in the nfl thomas great throw on the run and then on third and seven he's gonna run again this time for a first down he might have got a late push refs didn't see it so no call 34 16 this is beginning to start well this is start starting to go in the Wake Forest Demon Deacons way this is Dustin Thomas running 11 yards and then on fourth and goal you almost have to go for it with eight minutes to go in the final quarter Wayne Haynes is in again third touchdown of the day for him and it's a 12 point game Maryland three and out something you haven't seen all day Thomas He's going to feel pressured. He's going to take off. He gets a nice block from Kyle Chandler. Thomas, 11-yard rush, first down. Thomas on the day, one yard shy of 200. Let's see if he can get it here. Second and nine, 520 to go. They are running a little bit of hurry-up offense here and there. No huddles with a little peak of run plays. Curtis Crosby, first time calling his name today. Four yards, or four receptions, sorry, 29 yards. That one, first time you're going to see him all game. Under five minutes to go. Play clock down to five. Out of bounds is your best friend right now. Also a completion as well. Ryan Caldwell, first time calling his name. He catches that second catch of the day for him. 440 to go. How about more Ryan Caldwell? Makes a man miss. And he's down to the Maryland three-yard line. From the three, first and goal. Thomas looking. Somehow he is going to evade pressure. And he is going to get into the end zone. Never count the Deacons out, folks. 34-29. to 29. Maryland would have had a field goal, but look what happened. 37 seconds left in the game. And Wake Forest is in prime position. Thomas rolling out to the right. 
He's got room. He can cut if he needs to. He does not. He goes out of bounds. First and goal. Ryan Caldwell, the hero, he drops it. The hard part would have been done. And the easier part would have came up. Second and goal. Thomas looking. Finds no one. Ball incomplete. Third and goal. Maryland expects a pass on this play and the next play. Don't expect a slip screen. Haynes to Thomas's right. Blocking for him. Thomas rolling. He goes down. Play clock running. Wake Forest out of timeout. And the final play of the game, one-on-one -on -one for Anthony Johnson. It's incomplete. The Deacons fought back all the way to an eight-point deficit. They had one final play. Thomas probably could have rolled out even more if he needed to. Bought some more time or maybe ran it in. But he trusted Johnson. It was kind of a poor throw. And that's exactly what happened. Incomplete pass on fourth and goal. So even though the Demon Deacons lost today, let's take some positives. They were down 28 to 10. They came back. They scored. They were on a mission in the second half. They gave up two field goals. That's all they gave up in the fourth quarter. But it mattered the most in the fourth. And unfortunately, Maryland wanted it more. So expect Wake Forest to go outside the top 20 next week. Two weeks to go. I believe we have Duke left. We will see you there. Thank you for watching. Maryland 37, Wake Forest 29 from Snowy BB&T Field.